Hey, I'm here today at my friend Luke's place. It's about time we do a diecast collection update. Let's check it out. Uh, it's been a year, yes. It's been a, a little bit more than a year. So how many how many cars did you uh, bought this year, man? <laughs> give, give me a, give me a, an honest number. <laughs> uh, in the last video, we had like I said that I had like a hundred and four. No, a hundred and forty something. 140. Yeah, hundred and forty. I'm at. I'm currently at uh, 198, so uh, oof, 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 oof. nearly yeah. 50 cars. Are we gonna? See? And I sold some. So. Oh, you sold some also. Okay, yeah. so are we gonna see all of these cars today? Mm, uh, we're gonna focus on uh, maybe. Uh, oh, you have a list, eh? Yeah, yeah, like uh, <laughs> maybe 20 cars or okay, something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's check out the first ones. Let's start with Mustangs. You know. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, what do you have? So, uh, in the last video, yes. if you remember, I was talking about the GMP that I was supposed to uh, receive. Yeah, yeah, I remember. My first Fox body. So, I... You have it? I have it. <laughs> That's good. It took a long time, but hey, I have it. Nice. We're going to put it on the kitchen table and yeah. look at it closely. Hey, by the way, I had a comment uh, on your last video. Some people uh, comment and said, hey, why does he have a signed picture of Milan Farmer? So, so yeah, I told them that uh, a friend uh, a friend of ours went to the show a long time ago and he, he got that for you. So exactly. that's cool, man. People, uh, people picked up on these little details, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so this is a uh, 93. I'll say, yeah, 92 or 93. Okay. Is everything open in this? Everything is open. It's a nice car, man. So next up we have... Yeah, man. Next, uh, next Mustang is this one. It's a beautiful one. It's a 64 and a half for 65. Uh, it is made by Precision 100. It's extremely detailed. Uh, everything is carpeted and uh, oh, and they have uh, the seat belts and everything. The seat belts are fabric. Um, oh, nice! It's a highly detailed car. Super cool. Yeah. Let's have a closer look. Of course. Need help. <laughs> <laughs> Car is getting away from me. Nice. Uh, the finish in this car is absolutely stunning, man. That's a nice find you have. Like a, so you're telling me that you had a brain fart with Mustangs lately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the 69 and the 70s. Okay. I wanted some uh, Mac ones and some Boss, so uh, I bought three. I have a fourth one <laughs> in pre-order. So <laughs> that's 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 what we call a brain fart. That's all right, yeah. man. And those are some uh, very limited editions. Uh, okay. This one. With this color, uh, was made by a supercar collectible. Okay. So they made some very low production mm -hmm. version. Uh, this one is called um, Jade Green, the color or something yes. like that. It is beautiful. Okay. Put it on the table. Yeah. This one is a bus bus for twenty nine. From 1969. Super cool, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Oops. Put the other one there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other bus. 
from 1970 so we can compare them uh, it's uh, mostly the uh, the front and the rear that differs oh yeah Oh yeah, it's different. So cool. Let's have a look at the rear. Yep. Nice. This one is a Mac one from nineteen sixty nine. Uh, yeah, nineteen sixty. Very nice. Color is Gulf Stream Blue. JK, what else you got, man? Uh, the last Mustang that I want to show you. Oh yeah. Is a special one. Oh. And it has already been featured in one of your videos. <laughs> yeah. With this t-shirt. With t -shirt. this t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> so it's the Mustang that you gave me for my 50th birthday. Yeah. Uh, it's a Maestro, but it's such a rare one. It's impossible to get, and I. Pretty sure you uh, you went on a scavenger hunt to, uh, to yeah. get this one. So uh, yeah, it's a dear one in my uh, yeah, collection. Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, yeah. But some people said in that video we made, some people said that this car is not that rare. But we have to understand that here in Canada, this is pretty rare. So. Exactly. I could have bought one in the U.S. for maybe cheaper than that, but with the shipping and everything, it's it's just not uh, worth it. It's just exactly. not worth it. So exactly. so yeah, I I still like this car. I mean, uh, <laughs> the fact that I disassembled it completely to clean it up, man, it was in pretty rough condition, <laughs> but it, it looks good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's uh, let's move on to what now. Um. Are we done with the Mustangs? Uh, we are done with the Mustangs. Okay, told me something about Corvettes. Corvettes? Yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, I, I'm not the, you, the, the biggest fan of Corvettes, but I have a thing that I, maybe later in my life, I want to have one of each generation of, yeah. uh, of, Mustang, of, of uh, Cor Corvettes. Corvette, yeah. But uh, I don't want to buy... In the past, I bought some uh, Maisto and everything. I sold them all. Uh, yeah. I want some Auto Arts or some old UT models yeah. or something like so, that. So it's, go it's going to take longer time to collect them all, but you, at least you'll have the ones you want exactly. exactly. Okay, so, so which uh, one do you bought? So this year, I was able to uh, get my hands on this one from Auto Art. Whoa! It's a Grand Sport. It's a C seven. A C seven. Yeah. Uh, Grand Sport in charcoal gray. It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's beautiful. It's in composite, but hey, you have to. Oh, uh, yeah. To accept it, and I accept it. So. All right. Let's check it out. Yeah. So what do we have now here? Uh, it's a uh, UT models. Mm -hmm. It's a 1978, and it's amazing. I love the wheels. I love the color. Yeah, looks uh, looks awesome. Yep. Does the hood open? Yes, of course. It's pretty simple down there. UT model never had uh, some uh, Too highly detailed no, models no, so, so. Yeah, but then again, it was not it was not the best years of uh, Corvette, you know, no. engine wise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So what are we checking next? Uh, we are checking something. I don't have a lot of Japanese, but in my life, I had. Two Acura Integra, mm -hmm. 
I had a 92 and a 90. So the other one was 94, I believe. 94, yeah. Yeah. So obviously, I had to add one of each. Yeah. And this one in particular is exactly like the one I yeah, had I know. read like this. This one is my holy grail. Yeah. Uh, it has been in the case since I got the car. I mean, I never even unscrewed the car from the plate. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> so uh, I guess we won't be unscrewing this one today, but you know, we can look at it. Yeah, of course, of course. So what what brand is? I, I, my friend Michael has one. It's a. Um, what? Uh, what is the name of that company? Uh, it's an LCD model. No, LCD it's, models. It's an LCD. Yeah. Pretty awesome. And the other one is a like a 98 Type R. This one is a 98 Type R. Uh, obviously, mine uh, wasn't a Type R, but uh, that's the closest that I was able to get <laughs> from the one I had. So that's nice, man. Yeah. So this one is a sealed model. It's a sealed model. It's a automobile. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool car. And it's a real Japanese with the. With a, with the Japanese bumper? Yep. Oh, pretty cool. So here we are with another brain fart of yours. Yeah. It's called Subaru. Yeah. So you bought, how many have you bought? Uh, this year I bought four. Okay. Honestly, I have five in yeah. my collection, so it's not that. But I have a thing for 22 Bs. Like many people. Yeah, like me also. Yeah. So we have, uh, we have to like uh, Colin McRae and uh, Richard Burns, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were telling me something about the Solido and the Auto Art one, so... Exactly. Those are two identical models, so mm -hmm. they are uh, non-rally version of 22Bs. Yes. This one is from Auto Art, this one is from Solido. Mm -hmm. uh, they are very look-alike, but we can see some details, some quality details. And I mean, I love Solidos. I have a ton of Yeah, I, I have also a ton of Solido, but, but you can see the difference with Yeah, well, parts. we'll we'll take them out of there and we'll do like a short comparison. Of course. Yeah, man, let's do it. So like we said, like you said, uh, we love Solidos, but we also love Auto Art. Of course. Sometimes, well, most of the times we choose Solido because of the price. The price is lower than Auto Art, obviously. Price versus paint quality because yeah. the thing with Solido is that it's like the same price of some MISOs and everything, maybe a little higher, but the paint quality and the interior, some yeah. interior detail are very, very nice for the price. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to compare something uh, from the Solido. One thing that I've noticed over time is the gap between the seat and the door still. And you can see here, sometimes, some models from Solido, the seat, I think the seats are pushed to the Inner, middle a little yeah. bit too much. But let's check out the auto art version. Hold on. You need some help? Yeah, right? that's all right. You're all right. I can destroy my own die cast. So, I well, can't quite see, but hold on. So yeah. yeah, I mean the auto art, the interior quality is, is absolutely flawless. And of course you have access to the engine bay. Yeah, so. you have the access, everything is open. And with the Solido you have a more plastic feel, but you know, that's quite all right. You know? Of course. Like you said, for the, for, for the price difference. You know, not everyone can afford the, uh, an auto art, so, yeah. Well, I mean, it's basically twice the twice yeah, It's the twice price. the price, yeah. So, uh, but it's worth it. I mean, yeah, the, uh, it's worth course. it. If you, if you can afford it, I mean, go for it. Yeah, absolutely nice cars. So these two cars... Um, are are those this one is is this one from Solido? This one is from Solido. Okay. 
and this one is from automobile oh yeah a slight difference in paint but i i think the shade of blue is different yep yeah okay it's not the same no <laughs> the automobile is pretty cool man that's a nice car I was going to ask, is it full opening? But I remembered mm. it's an automobile, so, exactly. so no. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the Subarus. Yep. What's up next, man? Uh, I don't even remember what we, talk, we talked about. I think we have two rarities down there. Okay, let's go check um, them. <laughs> not these ones. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you met this? Okay. So what is this one? This one is a Koenigsegg Agera RS. From? Uh, Auto Art. It's an Auto Art? Yeah. Crazy. And this one? This it's one? A Pagani. It's a Pagani Zonda Barchetta. And it's from uh, LCD Models. LCD Models. And uh, I have to... Uh, correct something that I said earlier about uh, my red Integra it's not an LCD model but an LS collectible LS collectible yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right man all right so this one is the LCD model yep Pagani Zonda Barchetta because there's that's awesome no man top. there's no top That's nice. You want to see the engine bay? Oh, yes, please. Oh, hold on. So, this is not an auto art. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is what? About half the price of an auto art? Uh, well, maybe a little bit more than a half. Yeah. But then again, Look at all the details. It's crazy. You even have some... Uh, yeah, the luggage. The luggage. You have like a special tool to get it out of there? Yeah, my hands. <laughs> Is there money in there? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's check out the other one. So... This one is an auto art. This one is an auto art. This one is my uh, one of my favorite real cars. It's a Koenigsegg Agera RS. That's awesome. I love Koenigseggs. Of course, everything opens on that thing. So. Of course. Like the real one. Okay, so you have to push the door out yeah. and then lift it up. Lift it up. Exactly. And this one crazy, is crazy. And uh, for the engine, okay. The engine opens on the other side. Is there? Uh, it's like my hunter lift, man. It doesn't stay open. It should stay. Okay, don't break it. Get that put. Will it still hold? Yes. <laughs> Don't breathe. I, I'm not breathing, no. And I'm not touching the car, so uh, turn on your flashlight so we can see the engine. Okay. So, you guys didn't see this, but we, we had a little trouble opening this up. Well, opening it was not a, tr a problem, it, <laughs> holding it open. So, it finally holds. <laughs> yeah. So, let's not breathe. That is a ridiculous, beautiful car, man. Congratulations on your purchase. The there, there you go. <laughs> the front opens too, and there's a cool thing. You can open it. And, and put the roof in it. Of course. Uh, no. You may want 
to read the manual. Yep. I know it goes there. How much? How much is the real car oh. cost? There we go. That's a million dollar car in real life. More than a million. So it would be fun to uh, watch you uh, put the uh, roof in the trunk uh, like like you did with your 118 scale on the real thing. I was like, God, get inside, you piece. Of <laughs> anyway, so we have a nice car. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. So uh, are we filming Porsches now? Of course. Yeah, I got one here. Ah, that's the ugliest one. The ugliest one, eh? Well, yeah. let, let's keep this one for last. Okay, well, <laughs> what do you want me? What do you want to show me? We get we got another ugly one here. Yeah. Oh boy, that's ugly. <laughs> now, in fact, let's talk about this one. Let's put it on the uh... the black one. Yep. So, what is it? Ah, uh, it's the. The sister of the one that you uh, gave me years ago in 2008, if I remember, yeah, yeah. The, black, the white one. So this is the black version of the same car. It's so mean in black. So yeah, mean. it's mean. And hard to film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So it's obviously from Auto Art. Yeah. It's a second-hand model, but mm -hmm. that I bought directly from AutoArt. Oh, really? So tell me, how do you come and buy a second-handed car from AutoArt? Uh, I discovered just uh, randomly. I was looking for uh, from uh, for parts for a broken AutoArt. So okay, uh, there's a website that. Uh, auto art spare parts or something yeah, yeah, like that. I remember, yeah. And I discovered on the website that there was a section of second hand cars. Okay. But those are second hand cars that auto art did. Uh, they buy back? They buy back. Okay. And this one uh, was a uh, was tagged as like new. And honestly, when I opened the, the box, I wasn't even. Uh, I wasn't even sure that somebody had ever opened it. So uh, okay. So for me, it's a brand new one. Huh. But a car from years ago. This one is a real diecast. It's heavy. Yeah. And it's black. And it's black. It's awesome. Yeah. So it's like it's like a. A lemon buyback uh, in real cars, you know? <laughs> yeah, or, exactly. Th this one probably has a salvage title or some <laughs> sort. Was it flooded? <laughs> I don't know. All right. But I thought there there might be some uh, paint rashes or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No. The paint is amazing. Okay. Man. Yeah. So one day you'll find out exactly. what, what's wrong with it. You know? Exactly. So uh, I know you like white cars so here's another white cars it's an rsr it's a 996 uh, beautiful. Era, from the 996 era it's a beautiful one you didn't have that one when we filmed no. last year i had this one the one that you gave oh, me okay, in okay, 2008. okay okay oh so done that's a new one and i had the evil one yeah the evil right? one yeah i remember yeah. that okay all right It's a really cool 996. It's a beautiful car, man. So, next item we have a... What is this? That's a... Uh, they call this a 935 new old one. Yeah, tribute. It's, uh, it's like a tribute from the 935, but based on the uh, 996. Uh, 997 yeah. model. So this one is from uh, MCG Model Car Group. Mm -hmm. I loved it because I'm a fan of uh, Martini style livery. So yes. uh, I'm also I had to buy it. And the wheels. I love the wheels, the <laughs> blue one and the red one on the other side. Oh, wait, there's a red one on the other side? Yeah. 
Oh, heck yeah. And that wing. <laughs> yeah, the wing, man. You got wing? Yes, we do. Yeah, that's a... It's all, it's a sealed model. It's a sealed model. So overall quality of, uh, you like it? Yeah, I have a few MCGs and yeah? they, they are okay. Yeah. The car are lights and, and everything is sealed, but paint is good and the details are there. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's fine, especially for the price. Yeah. Nice. Next. So you have a thing with cars that are difficult to film, so... <laughs> that blue might be yeah. very awful to film. But no, with, with my cell phone, it's, it's quite all right. But this is an RWB. Of course. From GT Spirit. From GT Spirit. Yep. And I had to add it to, to, add it to my collection. I mean, look at that car. And it's a signed version. <laughs> Uh, I think the red car is like that. Yeah, but when that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, a signed car. Exactly. It is so fat. <laughs> uh, we don't do body shaming on this channel. <laughs> but it is fat. <laughs> it's fat and wide. Well, we're joking about that, but this is actually pretty wide. It, it's, it's one of the widest that I saw yeah. so far. And I love the cartoon wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real one is like that. It is all uh, wrapped in cartoon. Uh, nice. It's beautiful. So in the Porsche category, this one we've unboxed it last summer. Exactly. This summer. Yeah. Uh, it's a GT3 Touring. GT3 Touring. Yeah. This one is new. I never saw that. This one is new. It's a GT3 from Norev. Yeah. A full GT3 with the wing and everything. Yes, yes, so. yes. All right. Bring it to the table. Yeah. So this one, is it a dealer edition or a... No. It's a plain, quote unquote. <laughs> exactly. Plain Norev. Super nice. Is it all opening? Um, no, I mean, have the doors, the doors, but like all 997.2, uh, anyway, the trunk, why not? The trunk doesn't open, it so. doesn't open yeah. even on a the real, real one. one, yeah. <laughs> and of course, the trunk in the front open, but, but yeah, there's but... not much to see down there. Oh, yeah. Pretty nice car. Turn it around so I can. Yeah, like that. I love the wing. Oh, yeah. That's a nice car. All right, so before we go on to the uh, last car of our show, I want I want I want to talk about something, Luke. Um, recently, I bought this Mini Champ GT2 RS, and I already had this GT2. This one is from Mini Champ, and the other one here that I had is from Norev. And you told me that you had the Auto Art one. Exactly. So I wanted to do a comparison of the the three cars. Because I've noticed, as you can see here from the Norev and the Mini Champ, the mirrors are not at the same height. And I've noticed that it's the same deal with your auto art. The mirror is slightly higher. So I was wondering which one of these three are true to scale. So let's check them out and compare them. All right, so don't get me wrong, but the Norev is pretty neat. I love yeah. this car. I didn't pay that much for it. Uh, there's carpet inside. and But, you know, finish is a little bit plasticky. And 
the door frame is a bit rough. The thing I'm not sure, and I would have to uh, look on the internet, was those wheels really wheels from GT2s? Ooh, I'll have I'm, to check. I'm not sure. Not sure. So with the um, with the mini champ. Interior is also pretty detailed. We've got carpet in it. And uh, the seat belts are fabrics, I think. No, they're, they're like... Uh, a little plastic. Uh, yeah, light plastic, uh, okay. flexible plastic. It's quite nice. Okay. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. All the details are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, re I don't regret buying the, uh, the Mini Champ. I think it's awesome. And it's a personal choice, but I like the black wheels. Yeah, I also like the black wheels. Um, so uh, if we put the auto art alongside, we can compare. So one one thing that jumps into my eyes is the uh, difference in carbon. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, I I think the auto art. The carbon is uh, way better than the Mini Champ. And also, Auto Art, you have a raised Porsche emblem. And with the Mini Champ, it's a rough sticker. Well, it's quite nice, also. It's not just exactly the same. I think this one, the, the carbon and the Auto Art, I think it's uh, what they call hedged. Okay, yeah. And this one, this oh, is... no, no, the feel, uh, we, the feel is different. It's not a simple uh, decal or something. Well, I think it it's a, a yeah. Well, I think it's a decal. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, probably. Okay. I've noticed also that the uh, detail on the wiper of the auto art is slightly better than, oops, the mini champ slightly. And with the Norev, I mean, the wipers are rough, you know, it's just bigger plastic. The tail light are a bit different on the Norev too. Less detail. The tail light, the, the headlights? The headlights, yes. Did I say the tail light? Yeah, you said the tail lights. The That's headlights. Right. Lights are different. Well, there, there's still, there is a few differences, like, this one is a 2007 and these two are like 2010 and 2011. I know mine is 2011. I'm pretty sure yours is 2010. Yeah, you can see the difference in, in the headlights. You have the... Uh, the yeah, the cover. The, no, no, no. The you ring? have the low beam and the high beam. Separated. Separate, okay, yeah, yeah. And this one, it, it's a, it's all in one light. Exactly. Yeah. Right, let's check out the let's check out the wheels. So all right, there's nothing to say about the auto art. So I, I think that the uh auto art and the mini champ are you know pretty much the same. Yeah. I think for the price difference the uh mini champ is a good uh very good deal. It's a good deal, yeah. I mean, I was lucky on the price of my auto art. Yeah, I know. But if you buy it at the current price, it, it is, is way, way, way more expensive yeah, than what I know. you pay for the mini champ. So. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's check out our last car. Yeah. I hate you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor man. So poor. Is it heavy? It is heavy. Well, it's heavy, man. Yeah. Well, well, well. And it's yellow. It's yellow. GT3 RS. This is like the 2023? Yep. This is brand new. It's brand new. That's a dealer edition. Dealer edition from Norev. Yeah. Directly from France. You bought it from France? Yep. Who sold you that? 
Uh, the the shop is called Selection RS. It's okay. a Porsche enthusiast oh. uh, website. I'll check it out. Yeah. Is it open? Yes. Is it locked or something? No, is it locked? <laughs> Pretty cool. You have the uh, fabric door handle, you know, to save weight. Let's put it on the other side like this. Very, very nice car, man. And the bonnet open, but since it's a GT3 RS, uh, it's like the real one. There's literally nothing down there. No, that's it. It's just the air because intake. It, yes, exactly. The air intake for the radiator. Yeah. Yeah. But I like the fact that, like the real car, the the hood is really opened and it's not. Um, yeah, yeah. It's and, not a gimmick. It's a, yeah. It's like the real one. That's super awesome, man. Yeah. All right. So I I think we uh, we've seen them all. Yes. I mean, there's a lot more, but. Uh, I didn't want to make a, a two-hour video, so... Yeah. But it's a good summary of yeah. what my collection is because, let's face it, out of the almost 200 cars that I have, I have 75 Porsches and I have 22 <laughs> Mustangs, so... <laughs> we, we should do a special only Porsches. All right. <laughs> well, that's it for us, folks. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.